Our video today is about how to save your tomatoes from the birds. I discuss three methods you can use to outwit the birds and ensure that you get to enjoy your tomato crops instead of the birds getting them. Here is footage of a bird in the tomato vine and yes it's the usual suspect, the state bird of Texas, the mockingbird. He's choosing a tomato there and you see he's chosen one and he let it fall to the ground and then he will go down to the ground where he will finish eating it. If you don't catch the birds in your tomatoes, how can you know it's uh, the bird is the problem? Well, here's some of the here's some of the evidence that a bird has been in my garden. See this one tomato here? It's got it has just a small little peck right there. They probably I probably came out in time, and so they didn't peck anymore. That's that's evidence of a bird. Here's another tomato that they pecked on a little bit more. You see, it's just pecked all up. And also, uh, so they'll either pull the tomato off of the plant or they will sit and basically gut the plant from one side or the, the tomato from one side. And this is very common. You have this beautiful red tomato on your, on your tomato plant and you go to pick it and there, and, and it's just gutted out from the other side and so you don't have a good tomato there at all. And that's a real common thing they do. So, the first method you can use is a barrier method by using a net. This is very lightweight netting that was uh, it's 14 by 14 feet and it cost under six dollars and I bought this uh, you can buy them at nurseries or home and garden centers and you just want to gently put it around your plants it doesn't have to be perfect and uh, and then just tuck it under the plant tuck it all around the plant and then, and this is, a, this is a very effective way of our three ways we're going to talk about today. So then when you get ready to uh, pick the tomatoes, you simply lift up the net and then pick your tomato. And then you tuck it back down. So that's simple enough. Okay. A second method you can use uh, involves the use of uh, old CDs. I'm sure everyone has a lot of these nowadays now that the, can, the storage on the computers are better and internet service is better. So I have just a ton of these. And these are great because they're mirror-like. And so uh, you can tie them on strings and the wind will gently blow them. And the, in also when they hit the sun, with, they, they align with the sunlight, they make bright flashes that scare the birds. And these, these, flashes, um, these flashes are pretty effective. Um, this method overall, though, is not as effective as the netting method, but I found a way to make it a little more effective, and uh, it's a way that allows me to move these CDs from time to time to kind of change up the situation so that birds are less uh, they're, lot, they're less uh, comfortable with it. They said, oh, something's changed out there. I need to be a little more aware. So uh, what it involves is I've put, a, I've put a line up here of wire. And on the wire, I have put some little, these are little jump rings. You can use any type of ring. But I've put these little uh, jewelry jump rings. Actually, they're called split rings. But you could use shower rings or any other type of ring that you can think of. And I just put these rings along the wire. And then I'm going to hang CDs from, from the little rings. So I put, my, uh, put a piece of yarn on the CD and then I string the yarn through the ring that's all around the wire and then I tie it off. So now I can move my CD anywhere I want and so in, with, this, with this situation I can move it where anywhere I have ripening tomatoes at the time to increase its efficacy and to make it uh, changed up for the birds so they don't get used to it. And so I put several on here already. Uh, 
Also, I can cut my string so it doesn't look so messy. Cut this extra string on top. And I put it at different levels. I have some up here close to the top that'll be close to the top tomatoes, and some down here for the middle tomatoes that are getting ripe. Because I'm gonna have them getting ripe in both places. Okay, and I also left a few of the little rings in between so I can always add more later if I want to. So I have some extra rings on my wire. So that's another method that's pretty effective. And then the final thing that you can do to help keep uh, your tomatoes from the birds is simply to pick them, pick your tomatoes where they're, while they're still in the very light orange stage. So. So, if I wanted to pick my tomatoes so that the birds didn't get them, I would pick them when they were about this ripe. And then I would take them inside and put them on a windowsill where they could continue to ripen. This way, the birds, uh, the birds like us, like our tomatoes best when they're red and ripe. And that's when they're going to get them. When they're red, they're like a stop sign for the birds, like come and eat here. So if you remove them before they get red, then uh, you've saved your tomato. But again, part of the beauty of a home garden is to finally have tomatoes that are vine ripened because they have the best taste. So anyway, it's just another, another method that you can use.